Hey, welcome back. It's Friday. It's another show of the Exponential Files. I'm Larry Lawford, your host, and uh, Jim Lowenstern is here with me every week. It's actually his show. Uh, today we have Chrissy, Poli Chrissy Ives Polizzi, and she is a dynamo. I like to say she's fierce. Um, <laughs> she has some six characteristics that help her create success every single day. There's alignment, her habits, her level of communication, the relationship she has, the determination that she has. These are the things that took her in her first year and a half, not only to be a capping agent, but then to double cap, become an icon agent where EXP gives you money back. You know, you can make your money over and over again. That's wonderful. Chrissy, it is awesome to have you on the show today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks for reaching out. It's a pleasure to be on the show. Well, uh, let's talk about your alignment because I know it's more than alignment. It's alignment, integrity, you know, having a clear vision. Talk. It, it, it's, it, has it's you. Of, it is. It's it's alignment, but it, so you have to start with with your daily habits. So, are you are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating right? Are you getting exercise? You have to keep your brain sharp and you have to be and I I include meditation as well. I just have to be centered and balanced in order to produce and 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 show up as my true self. So once I get that in order, then I try to create a vision. And I I like to meditate on the vision, but more importantly, I have a clear vision of what it is I'm trying to accomplish. Um I do it daily, I do it with short-term goals and I do it with long-term goals. And then once I can really see that vision, I can start putting things into action that are going to get me one step closer to it. And I try to celebrate those wins when I do, when I do hit them. Do you do a vision board or anything like that? I know a lot of people uh, believe in that. Yeah. So I used it's to, visual in front of you. Right. I used to do vision boards a lot. I, I haven't done them as much anymore. Every once in a while, I'll keep like screenshots on my phone more of, as a vision board, but I'm more about like writing it down like, and then meditating on it, see, seeing if it's realistic, and then having the consistency through those actions, through those habits to, you know, keep moving forward. And it's, it's amazing, because it's all momentum. Once I start moving in that direction, it, the momentum just picks up and keeps me going in that direction. And then I'm able to pick up a new goal while still maintaining that other one and move forward. Like it, it, it was for my first goal was capping my second goal was reaching icon. Then I wanted to get my Florida license. So I had a lot, I wanted to build a team. I had a lot of big goals that I accomplished in a short period of time. So I needed that alignment, those daily habits, that consistency, and it, it's really all coming together beautifully. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, you got your license. You didn't know who you were going to work for. You've only worked for EXP. You interviewed with different companies. You don't have to mention them if you want to. That's fine. And you compared them and made the decision to come to EXP. And how did you make that decision? What was it that EXP had perhaps that no one else had that helped you make the decision? That that was a no brainer, um, especially in, in Northeast PA. Um, a lot of I mean, we have all different brokerages here, but I interviewed with them. Nobody could touch the the commission split with EXP. So as a new agent, that was the first thing that I wanted to jump on. You know, it's like, okay, well, this I, I, everybody's giving me all these tools, and this company is going to give me more money with the tools. And then I realized, you know, in the beginning, you're you're not thinking so much about revenue share. You're just thinking about selling houses. Um, so once I, you know, once I dug in and realized, oh my gosh, like not only am I getting, you know, once I capped 100 percent commission. But now I'm getting all these stock rewards. And then I realized that um, like I'm in real estate a year and a half. Last I checked, I have $40,000 in stock rewards already from EXP, which wow. is unbelievable. So if I do that every year, you know, I'll be I'll be pretty much set for retirement. But those were the things, the revenue share, um, the I love the plethora of marketing um, tools that we have, like Workplace and um, and KV Core. I'm constantly like my latest listing up at Lake Wall and Paul Pack was actually from another EXP agent. So just the referral program up and down the East Coast, nonstop. Um, I probably get about one a month or give one about one a month. Um, so the networking, I love the fact that I didn't have to go into an office. I didn't have to bring all my files in, sit down. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a self-starter. 
I also like to work on my own time. Like if I don't sleep well, that's important to me. That's one of my habits. I'll take an hour and, you know, get to sleep and get caught up on it. I don't like, you know, I need to have that flexibility and EXP gave me that flexibility. Um, you know, in the beginning, you're a little nervous. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm an, I'm an avatar. When am I going to be able to talk to my brokers? It's easy peasy. I mean, I could get in touch with one of my brokers with, within two minutes, almost, almost any time. So, so, so explain Absolutely. what that means. I'm, I'm an avatar. People thinking, well, what are you, uh, seven feet tall and blue? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? No, I have a really cute little image of myself that I get to go into EXP world. Um, EXP world is, is a metaphor and platform, um, like, uh, you know, virtual world. And it's, it's so helpful because I can go in and I just click go to the brokers and I literally get pulled into their, their virtual office within, within minutes. Um, I can go to accounting, get pulled in. I'm having a tech issue, go to the IT department. So rather than sending an email or going to an office or, you know, just waiting for that response, I can go in there between nine and five and get immediate help. But, and then some of the girls on my team, like they're not as tech savvy. They don't, you know, that's not, they don't go for it. So instead we have workplace and we do have, um, you know, work chat and we have uh, emails. So you do have an, a, a whole other avenue, which I didn't realize in the beginning. I thought it was all going to be everything in EXP world. And then I realized, no, there's something to suit you, no matter what your personality is. Well, one of the other things that you mentioned to me earlier today was that you specifically chose EXP because you could build your own brand. Um, and uh, you seem to be doing that. Can you talk for a moment about what your personal brand is in Lancaster and, and going to be in Florida where you just recently got your license? Yes. Um, my branding has all been like our, our hashtag is um, align and hustle. So it's just, it's just truly about being my authentic self, um, you know, attracting people organically, whether it be agents under me, whether it be clients, buyers, um, I, I, social media for me has been awesome. Um, I get lot, I get lots and lots of leads from even Facebook and Instagram. And sometimes I'm like, Oh, am I oversharing? But they, I get the feedback. No, we love to hear what you're saying. You're the first person we thought of when we were selling our house. That that was my goal. So I've accomplished it. And on top of that, I'm re, I'm attracting other agents, and and it's all authentic. Like I'm not out there being a hardcore recruiter. I'm just showing up as my best self, sharing the information I have, um, being there to help others, and they're and they're coming over. So it's right. it's it's win win. Right. Yep. And it's not the boilerplate stuff where you standing in front of a house that you just sold with your clients, which is so many people do. And it's just, with it's all, of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's uncomfortable. And, it, and it's really more about you than your clients, even though you say, I'm so happy for them. No, right. it's, it's commission day. You're happy for yourself. Right. It's more so important this... to thank the people involved is what I found out. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? How can I help? and give information, whatever it may be. So right. um, I, I try to thank maybe the lender or the title company or, right. or somebody exactly. and bring some, bring some information and knowledge. To the so team. these uh, social media posts, uh, is that uh, business separate for, from personal or, or just uh, one account for everything? I have two accounts, but I am who I am on either account. Um, I, in the beginning, my personal account was getting a lot more hits than my business account. So I just ran with it. And now I will, I'll post almost the same thing on, on both. I do a lot more of my team posting on my business site. Um, it, that's more, you know, that's more about production and, and, and encouragement. And I keep that, a, you know, a little bit more professional on my regular social media page. I, I let people see who I am, like <laughs> the ups, the, ups, the downs, the, the pretty, the ugly, um, so that I, I feel that that builds relationships because it builds connection. If somebody can relate to me and they feel that I'm, you know, I, I'm an honest um, person that that genuinely cares, they're the ones who are going to reach out to me for whatever reason. Maybe they're a new new agent. Maybe they're looking for a house. Maybe they have some questions about lending options. Whatever it is, it it works in my favor, and I'm able to help them too. 
well, I thank you for the connection. And I looked through your post today and I didn't see any ugly. So I'll have to keep <laughs> looking. You. Well, that was the birthday post. So <laughs> everybody's happy. Everybody's happy on a birthday yeah, post. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that communication is, is vitally important to you. And you do use social media like many, many other agents. It's Facebook and it's Instagram. Do you use any of the other things? Do you use any of the tools that EXP provides you? Oh my gosh, yes. So, uh, you know, at first you you join EXP and it's almost overwhelming because you have so many, uh, just so much, so many good things that you could be using. So recently I, I've been trying to upgrade my systems um, because for the first year I, I, I was just working off what I created, a system I created. Now I'm trying to step into systems. I've, I've up, you've been using KV Core a lot more. Um, I have I have all my leads, my organic leads, my realer.com leads, my Redfin leads, all going directly into KV Core. Um, so I finally set up, you know, communication, follow-ups, um, monthly newsletters. So this is all new. This is all new for me. I haven't done it prior. So I I use KV Core. Um, Obviously, I use work chat. I I go on um, many of right. many of the. Are you, are you using Express offers or Revenos? Yep. No, we don't have um, for as far as uh, we don't have buy back boxes in my area as of yet. So uh, two of the girls on my team went through the Express training, but I I have not. I've been thinking about jumping on the luxury brand, especially now that I'm I'm moving part of my market down to Florida. That's, you know, most likely going to be more of the luxury. Um, when I went to, out to EXP con, which I absolutely was uh, flabbergasted. I just loved the whole experience. Um, there, it just puts you in the right mindset. You know, you have yeah, the right tell, mindset. Us, tell us about it because uh, Larry and I have not gone. Oh, you have not? Oh, no. you got to go. You got to go. Um, so it's out in Vegas. It's, I don't know, three, four days nonstop. But we have we have the conference hall, which just has vendors. Um, one thing I just have to mention, because I my background's in exercise science. And I, as I spoke before, like health and alignment is really important to me. I was so surprised when Glenn came out and has uh, Tony Robbins' son as, you know, one of the guest speakers. And then is promoting biome and also like the the um, aura ring, which is tracks your HRV. So it's so nice to know that Glenn Stearns cares about he well he knows if we're healthy and feeling good we're going to produce. Yeah. So we had him was, on the we had him on the show a couple and, of weeks and, ago. and I actually signed up for biome. Yeah, me too. After it's, the show, that's another one. But yeah, I love biome. So I, it's been a game yeah. changer. So uh, anyway, go, getting back, but there's you know you you have every vendor. For whatever you need, you need CRMs. There's a bunch of CRMs there. You need leads. There's a bunch of people offering leads. You need warranty, so you can go and get healthcare. Exps healthcare. You could sit down and meet with them. More importantly, the um the the keynote speakers we had we had obviously Glenn we had Glenn Stearns, um who is head of Kind Lending and also of course Glenn Sanford, but it was just so motivating and spectacular and the the um the networking that went on there i mean we really connected with a lot of great agents and i'm staying in touch with them and right. growing growing from right. them as well right and that that's the whole thing about actually going to your conferences a lot of people think uh oh i don't need to do it i got my business but they don't understand that if you go to these you're around people a lot of people who do the same thing i mean you're going to say oh i'm better than them or oh my god i can be better because i learned this and and it's so exciting. It's so and, next and, level, next level stuff. Like yeah. no matter what, you know, I came back and I have my digital business card now. Just like little things that you learn, and and then some of them are big things, and it, you bring them back into your business. And it, I was so I was on fire for like three months after that. <laughs> and and two thousand dollars in stock awards paid to you uh, from from your cap because you are an icon agent, correct? Correct. So, so that helped that helped pay for your trip. A hundred percent. I mean, once you cap, which is making sixteen thousand dollars to EXP, you um lost my train of thought there for a minute. It, it's eighty well, thousand GCI, sixteen thousand cap. Right. Thank you. Yeah. So then once you do that, if I go to EXP con, I earn two thousand dollars in stock rewards. If I go to the summit shareholders um, convention, I again get another two thousand. And now they're really upgrading the icon program 
where if you can't go to both of those things, we're having regionals. So regionals are actually this Monday where they're going to celebrate cappers and icons and also do some trainings. So my, my team and I are going down there to celebrate and network. And, and also that is also gonna give me points towards earning more stock rewards. So eventually I'm gonna get that whole $16,000 back that I paid EXP. Right. And since the stock is down, uh, it can it can only get back. Exactly. I didn't realize I, that. I, I'm I'm like, I'm a Warren Buffett guy. I don't look at that stock. I own it. I like it. It's going to continue <laughs> to go up. I don't care up and down each day. That's my life. You know, I'm not going to yeah. follow my 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 savings well, that way. When it goes down, you get more stock. That's all. Because we're paying more shares rather than shares. You you dabble in this i don't i'd rather buy a house <laughs> so, so chrissy you had short-term goals that you've met what what are the long-term goals and uh, how are you going to reach them um i mean long-term goals are having my market like reaching the success i've had in northeast pennsylvania down in florida i'm kind of going to play the long game with that uh, let it let it happen a little bit more organically because i i want to keep my um my grounding up here as well i want to continue growing my team um i'm definitely right now i'm i'm very much interested in uh, not to be selfish but my my production like i'm only in this a year and a half so i, I want to keep learning and growing and then eventually i hope to get to the point where now i'm more about um you know, creating, creating a team where I step back a little bit and just help others, but I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere near that yet. That's like a five-year plan from now. Um, mm -hmm. so. I mean, I'm licensed in four states. Florida is one of them. I, I don't sell in Florida, but I'm growing a little bit of a team down there. How do you envision working in two states and managing agents in both states and perhaps listings and maybe buyers? How it's do you do nice it? Because I don't, I don't know if you know Mike Urban. Um, he's he's an EXP agent in Boston, and he he was one of the he's one of my sponsors, and helps me a lot. So he has his market in Boston and in Northeast PA. So I was able to follow his, what he's done, follow his lead, and kind of do the same thing um, with Florida. It, right now, I'm networking. I'm setting up my systems down there to to be in place for growth, and. The, my team vision is a little bit different than most team visions. I'm I'm about growth, support, and empowerment. Um, you know, we use the the, the hashtag uh, EXP Elite. Um, right now, we're all women, and we we're more about collaboration. I don't take a huge um, percentage from my team members. Everyone's allowed to brand themselves, so it's just it, it's all about growth. Um, so that being said, most of the girls on my team are are self starters, and they're. I think okay, seven out of the nine already capped, so that that tells you wow. right there That's how incredible. how we're doing. So I have agents that I trust, agents that I know will put as much as I would into into a deal, and we'll just split commissions accordingly. What whatever's fair is fair. Give me the opportunity to be in Florida and grow my business down there, and it's a win win. You know, every we we keep the all the the communication. We keep all lines of communication open. We talk freely, you know, um, even though I make the final decision, we have meetings and collaborate and make decisions together. Right. And I'm really proud. I'm proud of that vision in that team. Well, one of the th other things you've talked about, and I know it's important for many people, is you believe in the laws of attraction. But and you also believe in the opposite of that. If, if somebody has a negative energy that um, you say, no, next, got to move on. Something like that. Hundred percent. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. I didn't want to go too far down that road, but I I do totally believe in manifesting my goals, and it's not magic. It it goes with what I talked about: consistency, right. habits, um, and vision. So, I think it's just really, really important. Oh, I need to <laughs> help me get back on track here. Yeah, yeah. It with gives you a moment. Uh, people used to smoke and say, oh, I'll take a moment. I, I need a minute. I need a minute to regroup. <laughs> um, but but yeah, so I, it's important to, to keep all that. So, but when, and you keep your circle positive. So there might be clients or other agents. What if, if I'm overthinking things and things just aren't going smoothly, I learned, I had a little bit of a people pleasing. So once I learned to have those hard conversations, say no, say next, 
my life got so much easier. And, and that's what I try as a new agent. That's going to be a struggle you're going to have because you have to learn. You can't be a people pleaser. You can't tell people what they want to hear. You have to tell people the truth, their options and the pros and the cons. And when you butt heads with somebody, it's just, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> Later. Adios. Um, and, and most times I'm, I'm a nice person. I'll say, you know what? We're not a great fit. I think so-and-so might be a better fit. Or if they're just a complete, like, <laughs> then I'll just say sayonara. Now, these are the brokers or clients that we're talking about? No, before. not not brokers. No, absolutely not brokers. Um, more, most, mostly clients um, or there's sometimes difficult other agents, agents on the other side. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big believer in positive relationships with other brokerages. I don't like the competition. I like attraction over, um, you know, recruiting. And so I give all brokers a lot of respect and all other agents, a lot of respect. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's fine. It's reciprocated, which, which is great too. Um, speaking, speaking of that. Uh, so the news this week, I mean, a couple of big things, 240 million in, Bonuses, basically, cash and stock awards last year to ESP agents from the company on top of the commissions, on top of some of those 100% commissions and beyond. Uh, and then number one in transactions, moving up from number four last year, and the only company in the top four that had positive increases in sales, agent count, and profitability. That's pretty cool. So, we are the future. <laughs> We're 100 percent the future. Right, and I, I love right. those statistics and data. So, right. yeah, right. the business recruits itself, um, and all you have to do is communicate to, to other people, like this show does, as as it right. goes out to people. You know, it. Yeah. Um, you know, over the years, when you listen to people, you go to these things. You, you quite often people will tell you what made them successful. And if you listen to enough people, everybody has their series of things and the people who are successful figure out what's best for them. Take a bit from everyone and work works for you. I mean, health and sleep and uh, all those things and food that helps everybody, but everybody does it in a slightly different way. Right. And I mean, I also, I was, I'm proud of myself because what, when I first started off, I, um, and I left teaching, I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to like real estate or not. I kind of just did it to be gainfully employed for a little while. And then I ended up <laughs> loving it and, and taking off with it. So. Yeah. How long did it take you to get your license? So, uh, you know, it's like, how many hours of study is it in Pennsylvania to get your license? 75. So yeah. I took, my I started class in March of 2021. Um, my my daughter was graduating college, so I took a little bit of time and waited till the end of the summer to take the test, and then I passed. So my um, anniversary is se September of of every year. Yeah, I have a question because you never asked this before, but you are only in it for a year and a half. You'll probably know from the day you started at EXP to your first commission check in the bank, how many days or how long. 30. Yeah. 30. 30. Yeah. I mean, 45, 45. No, I guess it'd have to be a little longer than that. Right. I, okay. I was writing deals my first week of, um, of getting my license. And, I, and, and yeah. where, where did those, um, leads or buyers or listings come from? So I love this story. So, um, you, one of the leads was, was a family friend came and, uh, that ended up turning into, they found their dream house. So I got them their dream house. From that point, then they wanted me to sell their house. So listed that house. From that point, it ended up, um, I ended up being a dual agent on it, which I'll never do again, but I did it that time. I didn't, I didn't know better <laughs> anyway. So then I brought the buyer to that. So there's three transactions. And then the people calling me to purchase that house, I brought on as clients. So then I got my next two clients. So I mean, right out of the gate, this just went boom, 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 boom. And, and I had to learn on the fly. I mean, I have these three deals or essentially one deal, one falls apart, they all fall apart. So and there's no dis no disclaimers here. People, if you don't have a license, this happens to every one of us. <laughs> I know. Well, you know what? It, it's tough because people saw it happen to me and they think it's going to happen immediately to everybody. So that's that that's a challenge for me when I'm talking to to my, my yeah. team members saying this this was I I was aligned for this like this was 
three, four, five years in the making, me leaving teaching, me being miserable, me not knowing what I'm doing with my life. That all led up to where I am today. So it, it, it's not just like, oh, she's just so lucky. It wasn't like that. It was a lot of hard blood, <laughs> blood, sweat and tears to get myself to be the person I am. And then and then I was catapulted from, from that point on. Um, and then once I had a little bit of, of cash flow coming in, I decided to invest in myself. And I, I say that to everybody. It doesn't have to be with leads. Maybe you have a great sphere of influence. Um, you know, you don't have, I'm not saying that you have to purchase leads, but put it into marketing yourself, putting it into branding yourself, put it into, um, you know, buying some leads. The way I look at it is, it's a tax write-off number one. So why wouldn't you invest in yourself? And um, each time I would close one deal from the leads I was purchasing, I would double it and double it. And then I, you know, I I also found out about co-marketing. So obviously I worked with the lender and we did some co-marketing. So it was I just had some really good guidance. That this the you want to talk about co-marketing for one moment and explain what that is to anyone watching who sure. doesn't know. Absolutely. So co-marketing is when you're working with your, it, they will become your preferred lender and they will match your marketing dollars for the most part. It could go up to a certain point or it could be as much as they want to. Obviously it's going to be based on your production. So I, I work with my preferred lender. He has some guidelines, you know, he wants people to be closing an average of, of 10 deals per at minimal per, per year and like do one or two with transactions him. with them. Yes. Right. And then, um, and then happy to, you know, bring or on co marketing. Yeah, right. Or her. So it's, you might as well dig in. And the thing is, when you create relationships with lenders, title attorneys, contractors, plumbers, that, that was a game changer for me. I built this team of professional services that no matter what the problem was, whether it was a septic or a perk test or a legal question or an encroachment, I had at least three people for each thing to call. And now I, I share that with my team. So when they right. come on, they also have this, you know, array of experts that they Your can VIP go to. list. Your VIP list. It's yeah. it's so, so important because yeah. when, you know, you get back from inspect, I, inspections used to give me agita. Like I was like holding my breath, shaking every single time it happened. And, uh, and the more I learned about it, the more I learned it, like uh, about like, I could tell you about repairs until I'm blue in the face because I've just learned about just every, everything that's going on with the transaction. I know who to call. I know what to do. Yeah. And we get the, we get it to the closing table and try to keep everybody happy at, at the same time. We all and have talk, plumbers, uh, electricians. One more. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say with the higher interest rates, what kind of tough uh, conversations are you having with your sellers and buyers right now. How how's it how has you're, the you're opening up a can of worms because I'll go off on this and we don't have the time. Well we, we got um, we got a minute. You can go off. <laughs> well how have the conversations I mean, changed in the last six months, let's say? For the most part, I mean to keep it simple, basically the, the property the property price points are gonna are coming down as the interest rates are going up. And what's lucky for me is my husband is a mortgage broker. So I hear about what the rates are doing nonstop. I hear about what the, like the changes that are going to be coming in the, with the conventional and the, in the credit scores and people, buyers may start using FHA loans prior to. And so I, I have this, the information that not most agents don't have with all the background information. So I'm able to tell them exactly what's going on for that day, what the potential forecast is for the next few weeks. And, uh, so that those are the conversations I have. I just keep it honest. And if it, if it's not a time for somebody to buy, then it, it, it so is. You, it you is. Feel, so you feel that the prices are coming down. That's what I'm hearing. Absolutely. Um, but the, the properties are also flying off the shelf. So if it's priced right and it's a, you know, it's a nice property, it's gone in three days. So you can't sit around and wait. So you really, you, you have to know, you have to know where you stand. You have to obviously, I, I, you need to work with a good lender who is going to sit you down and the lender has those conversations with, with the buyers as well. You know, if it's not, if it's not in their best interest to buy at this time, then, you know, we'll, we'll wait and play the long game with them. You know, I have people that I work with for over a year. We're helping them improve their credit first. We're helping them, you know, right. where they could afford to, to buy a house. Right. You know, every, everybody's situation is different. 
It's really incredible. How, how do people get in touch with you? You know what? Uh, I have to tell you, Chrissy, we, we have this drinking game that we do here. And <laughs> we have clients who come in and give their, their URL. And every time somebody gives their URL for their own website, we all have to drink. So could you please share <laughs> your URL? Sure. So Christine Ives Palizzi at exprealty.com is my, is my website. Um, go on Facebook, just search my name and you'll find me or, or Google sounds, me. I'm everywhere. <laughs> sounds good. Yeah. Great having you on the show, Chrissy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, you are sure an inspiration to so many people. I hope so. Thank you guys. I really appreciate being on. Thank you for joining us for another uh, Exponential Files show. Tune in next week when we have another person you need to know, uh, you have to know. Uh, thanks, Chrissy Polisi from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Good to see you, Jim. Bye-bye. Uh,